is my uh, seventh or eighth coach in nine years. And, you know, he's the first coach to ever, you know, once, uh, you know, being let go or stepping down, coming and addressing the team. So that was uh, new for me. But, you know, that takes, that takes a lot of courage. And um, you know, that shows the type of man that he is. You know, he always puts two feet in. And for him to want to stand in front of his, uh, his team and, you know, and, and as a man say, you know, it's best for me to walk away, that takes a lot of guts. It's really, really hard to, to lose in this league. And for coming to, uh, you know, I think he what, was... Uh, 44 years, 45 years of, of coaching at, you know, either the Division One level, college, uh, you know, high school. Um, you know, to now to, to step into this is completely different. Uh, you know, JB's been a head coach and been interim head coach and has been around basketball since he could probably, since he's been drinking Similac. So um, he knows this league in and out. He knows, you know, Players knows how to manage guys. He knows how to do relationships. So, you know, he's got basketball in his blood. So, uh, you know, we're excited to have him. We're just trying to start clean, you know. And uh, you know, it, obviously, we're going to keep, you know, keep the same plays, keep keep all that stuff. But, you know, just trying to, uh, you know, finish this year off how we want to start next year and how teams want us to and how we want teams to, you know, think of us going into next year. So, um, I think that starts with playing hard and unselfish first, uh, and then everything else comes pretty easily after that. So. Um, yeah, like we, we just talked about, JB's a defensive guy, so uh, really keen on the defensive end.